Well, earlier this year, we had a chance to cheer our athletes at the Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. A few days from now, we'll be getting another opportunity to show our support, this time at the Special Olympics. The Games are celebrating their 50th anniversary. To tell us more, we are joined by Olympic champion Mark Tewksbury, five-year-old Special Olympic athlete Alma Loken, and her mother, Melanie Cote. Welcome. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you Hi. so much for being here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Alma, we're so happy to have you today. Um, a beautiful smile to start our Monday morning. Mark, I, I first want to start with you. You've yes. been involved with the Special Olympics since yeah. the 90s. What, according to you, is the main goal of the game? Um, so I'm chair of the board of Special Olympics Canada right now. We're celebrating our 50th anniversary as a movement. So about 50 years ago, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, along with the Canadian Dr. Frank Hayden, had a seed of an idea that if we put games together for kids with intellectual disabilities, it would be a real game changer. So 50 years later, we're coming up to our national games in Antigonish uh, this summer. There's 45,000 Special Olympics athletes wow. across this country in about 3,200 programs taking place coast to coast to coast. And Alma's exactly one of our athletes. <laughs> uh, we start as early as two years old. And, and our athletes are sort of lifetime, long-term oh. athlete development program that really stay with us for many, many years. This is amazing. <laughs> Melanie, um, you can just see how excited Alma is, not only to be here, but I imagine also for the games as well. As, as her mom, what difference have you seen for her being part of the Special Olympics? Well, Alma started Special Olympics Active Start at age two, and Active Start is a sort of a multi-sport program that gives... Hey! <laughs> it's a multi-sport program that gives um, young children with intellectual disabilities the opportunity to gain some sport fundamental skills. So when Alma started Active Start, she was still using a walker. She still wasn't talking. And over that time, she has grown and changed and developed. She ran for the first time at Special Olympics. What? She's made friends. She can throw and catch and pick a ball. <laughs> And she's absolutely come she's, out of her shell. Yeah. <laughs> There's no very excited. Her um, so Special Olympics yeah. has made a real difference, yeah. and yeah. we're so lucky to have a program that will continue to make a difference for her for her whole life. Oh my yes. gosh. Yeah. Um, I'm a mom too. I'm a mom of two, and just seeing your children blossom in such an astounding way it must it must just be the mm -hmm. ultimate for you. Well, it really is, and it's funny when I have a son too who's older, and when he was young, we enrolled him in all sorts of programs, and he did all sorts of things. And when Alma was the same age, we were trying to enroll her in programs, but because she was so far behind her peers, they wanted to put her in with the babies or with the toddlers when she was older, and there wasn't really a place for her to be with her own friends, her own peers, and really grow at her own pace. And Special Olympics just embraces that, and they, they set kids on their own path and then watch them shine. It's, it's remarkable. So Alma, for you... Alma, listening. Alma, what is your favorite part of the games? What do you love? Alma, answer the question. What's your favorite okay, part? Okay, okay. What, what game do you love to play at Special Olympics? What's your favorite game? Shark Attack. What does it look like when you play Shark Attack? Oh, we love Shark Attack. <laughs> Amazing. Alma, Alma. That's in the pool, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alma, I hear you also like Alma. gymnastics. Listen, listening. Do you like gymnastics? Rhythmic yeah. gymnastics, right? With the ribbons. Yeah, and figure uh, skating. Figure that, skating. Uh, when, yeah. And when I go that, I have a um, back crack. You had a my back, back crack. <laughs> yes, you from did. my back, and I, and I couldn't do it, so I was sick, and I couldn't come anymore. Oh. Well, I hope you get back soon. <laughs> um, Mark, for you, what advice do you give to the athletes who are about to compete? Well, absolutely to have fun. You know, at this point, most of the training's done, so they're getting ready just for that final push for the National okay. Games. And just in general, for people watching that want to get involved with Special Olympics, it's our 50th anniversary. We want to make sure we have 50 more amazing years. If you know someone with an intellectual disability that would benefit from sport, please look out for a local Special Olympics program. We need volunteers, fundraising. Uh, hashtag choose to include is our sort of 50th anniversary campaign and uh, at Special O Canada, if people want to follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Just an incredible organization that truly changes lives of people with intellectual disability through sport. Not only gives them uh, community, but also obviously brings people out of their shells, gives them life skills. Yeah. And uh, as early as two or five years old, and uh, we all benefit. I mean, I think this morning, 
Um, obviously, Alma's great on TV, but we're all smiling here yeah. going, Alma's made our day. So that's the beauty of Special Olympics. You give, but it keeps giving back to you and forever, really. And for our viewers at home, there's the Day of Inclusion it's celebrated on Saturday. So how can they get involved? Well, there's a really easy way on Saturday, July 21st. Tim Hortons is one of our major partners. They're going to have a Special Olympics donut. Oh, perfect. So go to Tim Hortons, buy a donut, and you're <laughs> helping support Special Olympics yeah. and uh, gives you a reason to go to the gym after. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Well, Mark, uh, Melanie, and Alma, thank you so much for being here. You've been an absolute delight. Thank you, Kelsey. Uh, and we wish you, <laughs> we wish you all the luck uh, for, for uh, the, uh, the event when it begins uh, later thank on this month. So thank, thank you. you. So for more information on the Special Olympics, please just head to our website, yourmorning.ca.